And hello, my little mathematicians. Today, we're going to practice matching stories um, to both tables and graphs. Okay. My first hint to you would be um, maybe try to write the equation from the stories and then try to figure out the equations in the tables. Um, some might be more challenging than others. So if something's obvious, um, let's try to figure out those equations in the tables and match them. And then the ones that are a little bit trickier that maybe aren't so obvious at the end, once we have the equations written here, it might be easier to match. And if you're like, well, that was a lot, what did that just mean? Okay, first off, again, let's write the equations from the stories, okay? So for this first one, it says, Callie has $10 in her piggy bank and puts in another $5 every week. Okay, so that per each or every tells me that this is my rate and it's going to get multiplied with my X and that's going to be equal to my Y. But then I also have this $10 in her piggy bank, like she already has this much. So that's a constant that gets added at, at the end. Okay, this one says um, Jared walks five miles per hour. So my rate is five and it's going to be multiplied with my X, the number of hours. And that's equal to the number of miles. Okay, simple. Um, Darius runs at a pace of nine miles per hour. So nine is my rate, which is multiplied by my X, and that's equal to my Y. Okay, my next one, Sky buys fare tickets, which cost $2.50 per ticket. So my rate is $2.50 or 2.5 times the number of tickets and that's equal to the cost and there's nothing else. This one says Gianna has $50 and spends $5 every day. Okay, so you have 50, right? But you know that five is gonna get multiplied by the number of X and that's equal to Y. However, I don't know that we've really come across one of these yet, but what does it mean to spend money? It means that it's going away right? So that's actually a negative 5x. Okay, or you can think of it as you have 50 and then you're subtracting 5x. Okay, so um, first things first, let's see if we have like any easy ones to figure out on here. And it already tells me that um, we will need to write a story for f. So f we know isn't one of these options for these top ones. Okay, um, one times 45 is 45, but two times 45 isn't this one plus 44 is this, but two plus 44 isn't that. Okay. So that's trickier. We'll come back to this one. One times 15 is 15, but two times 15 isn't 20. One plus 14 is 15, but two plus 14 isn't this. Okay. So that's trickier. One times five is five. Two times five is perfect. So let's say if I take all these X's and multiply it by five, does it equal my Y's? Well, five times four is 20. Five times three is 15. Five times two is 10. Five times one is five. And zero times five is zero. So perfect. This one has an equation of Y equals five times X. So C is right here for two, okay? Um, one times nine is nine. Two times nine is 18. Let's see if that pattern holds up. Three times nine is 27. Nine times four is 36. Okay, and zero times nine is zero. Perfect, so this whole table has an equation of nine times whatever your X is, and that's equal to your Y. So Y equals nine X is three, so D matches story for three. Um, those were my two easy ones. So now this one is 2.5 X. So let's see, two times 2.5 is five, four times 2.5, plug that in. Yes. Okay. So here, if we always multiply these by 2.5, we get our matching Y's. So this table is 2.5 times X. So E matches four. Okay, so now I need to try to figure out for these two. And I know it's either this one or this one. 
So this says you start at 50, right? So when it's zero, you start at 50. Hmm. And then, um, so it's always going to be 50. Minus five times whatever the X is. Let's see if that holds up. Well, five times four is 20. 50 minus 20 is 30. Five times three is 15. 50 minus 15 is 35. Five times two is 10. 50 minus 10 is 40. Five times one is five and 50 minus five is 45. There we go. A matches this one. Okay, here says your starting point when it's zero, um, you already started off with 10 like this. And then let's see if you start with 10 and then add 5x. Can you do that? Will that work? 10 plus 5 times whatever the x is. Well, 5 times 4 is 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 10 is 25. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 10 is 20. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 10 is 15. 5 times 0 is 0, and 0 plus 10 is 10. Perfect. So B matched this. Okay, now the last thing they wanted you to do for this top section was to try to write your own story for table F. So the first thing is, well, what's the pattern? 1 times 8 is 8, is 2 times 8 is 16, 3 times 8 is 24, and 4 times 8 is 32. Okay, so um, as long as you came up with any story that involves like multiplying your um, independent right here with eight in order to get your dependent thing in the story y, okay, then that would be a type of story for f. Okay, now we practiced matching stories to tables. Now let's practice matching stories to graphs. Um, again, one of the easier things is to first of all write the equation from here. So it says that Carlos has 18, so he starts with 18, and then he saves an additional 3 per week. So 3 times the number of weeks plus 18 is equal to the total amount that Carlos has. Amir has 100, so he starts with 100, and then he spends $5 a day. So this is going to go down by $5 times however many days it is, and that's equal to how much he has. Here says Farah walks at a pace of four miles per hour. So four times the number um, of hours she goes is equal to the number of miles, and there was nothing else of a starting point, okay? Duke sprints at a pace of 12 miles per hour. So just 12 times however many hours he goes is equal to his distance. So both of these, um, there was no starting point, like it starts at zero. Okay, so that's probably this one or this one. Um, which one do you think is what? Well, this one's sprinting, so you're going to cover more distance faster, right? So D would be this one versus this one still starts at zero, but it's going up at a slower pace. It's not as steep because he's not sprinting as fast. His rate's only four versus his rate is 12. So B goes for this one. Okay, now here um, you start at 100 and here you start at 18. So right off the bat, you can tell that this starts higher than this one. So you know that this is the one that starts at 100 and this is the one that starts at 18. But also what if these were closer in value. If it was like 18 versus 20 as a starting point and you couldn't really tell they were almost the same. The other way you could tell it apart is this is increasing um, $3 each week. So it starts at 18, but then it's going up $3 each week versus here. It starts at 100 and then it's going down $5 each week till eventually he's going to be down at zero for your Y value. Okay, so decreasing your line goes down when your rate which we always know our rate is multiplied with our x. If your rate is decreasing, your line is decreasing. Versus if your rate is increasing, if it's positive, then your line is going up. Okay? Um, hopefully that helps you kind of visualize 
what these different things are talking about. Okay, when you're talking about your rate and if it's positive or negative um, within a story and how that relates to what your graph looks like or, you know, how your table will look. Okay, um, congratulations, my little mathematicians. You've conquered some pretty hard stuff.